Deixa a pose. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be discussing the Season 10 Legend Seer, his abilities, and a little bit about his backstory because things have changed since the last time we've covered it. So, let's go a little bit into what we actually know about the legend first. Seer's full name is Obi Ido Lassim, and I may have mispronounced that, and if I did, I am so sorry. That is the best way that I know how to. Respawn has also confirmed he is Igbo, which I've actually looked up. That is the correct pronunciation, and that's an ethnic group largely concentrated in Nigeria, but also other African countries in the real world. Now, this is Seer's passive icon, and as you can see, it has an eye very similar to Bloodhounds. However, it is surrounded by the micro drone, which we've seen so much related to this character. Now, there's a lot of confusion in people believing that that passive is going to allow him to see enemy health bars. I do not believe that is the case. There's a couple of reasons why. One, a passive that would be able to do that would be incredibly straining on Apex Legends and whatever system you're playing on. Your frames would drop, and it would be very hard to get all that data and that information for every character playing Seer. Now, Shrug. Tall's working theory is that the passive will allow you to hear heartbeats throughout the game is that is something that's been tied in with the character and because the icon for Bloodhound is so similar and it allows him to see footsteps that would tie in but I believe he will also have a secondary passive ability that will tie into his ultimate but we'll get to that just shortly with Seer's tactical you can see that it is an area of effect ability and that it is centralized in the center and spreads outwards Shrugtall did data mine some code and as you can see here it says color ID HUD for Seer in range out of range and default. I have seen some people mention the fact that they believe that the tactical will allow him to scan a room by throwing a grenade or putting up a wall charge but I'm going to be honest that doesn't seem very likely because that's basically what Bloodhound can already do. There's no reason to add another character that has the same tactical that would just be redundant. Now this is the part where I believe seeing the enemy's health bar comes into play as there is a color HUD and Shrugtall also let us know that it is a sonar ability. That makes me believe that you will be able to see the color of the armor that you are using the tactical against, whether that be red, blue, purple, or white. It creates just enough difference from Bloodhound and Crypto's scanning ability to make it very unique to this character and also ties in with him being able to see people's death. The last icon is for his ultimate ability, which shows his drone and it opening up. Now, me and Shrugtall both agree that this drone will unleash a flurry of those micro drones that we have seen so much. And you can even see here in these stories from the Outland where he releases them from it and almost shoots them out like a projectile. Now, there are a ton of possibilities on what these micro drones could actually do. They could be offensive, they could be defensive. In my opinion, the most likely thing that these are used for, since they are so bright when they are shot out of his hand, is it works almost like a flash bang to either get away or stun the enemy so that they cannot see. As we have seen with the Moth Drones, they are very bright and I can imagine them blinding or stunning an enemy momentarily. And with Seer, we have seen that he has very unique eyes and eyesight, which I believe also will allow him to not be stunned by that same ability. As you can see in the stories from the Outland at the very end, the entire room goes dark, but he can still see. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, EA Play will be holding a live stream event where they will go more in depth into Seer and we can have a better idea of what also to be looking forward to for season 10. This is just all the information compiled from the data mined code that Shrugtall found, the icons that have been leaked, and also the lore and look of the character. Also, if you have time, check out Shrugtall's video. I'll put the link down in the description below where he goes over his theories on what Seer's abilities are. I think they're quite good. Along with that, if you're looking for information on the Rampage LMG that's coming into the game and the possible use of thermite grenades to actually buff the weapon up like the Sentinel does with shield cells, I'll let you see this video right here. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.